The Rude Rat and the Unostentatious Oyster. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Upon the shore, a mile or more from traffic and confusion, an oyster dwelt because he felt a longing for seclusion. Said he, I love the stillness of this spot, it's like a cloister. These words I quote because you note they rhyme so well with oyster. A prying rat believing that she needed change of diet, in search of such disturbed this much to be desired quiet. To say the least, this tactless beast was apt to rudely roister. She tapped his shell and called him, well, a name that hurt the oyster. "'I see,' she cried, "'you're open wide and searching for a reason. September's here, and so it's clear that oysters are in season.' She smiled a smile that showed the style of bandage rejoiced her, advanced a pace with easy grace, and sniffed the silent oyster. The latter's pride was sorely tried. He thought of what he could say, reflected what the common lot of vulgar mollusks would say, then caught his breath, grew pale as death, and as his brow turned moister, began to close and nipped her nose, superb dramatic oyster. We note with joy that oi polloi, whom maidens bite the thumb at, are apt to try some weak reply to things they should be dumb at. The moral, then, for crafty men, is, when a maid has voiced her contemptuous heart, don't think you're smart, but shut up, like the oyster. End of The Rude Rat and the Unostentatious Oyster